Hey gang, in this episode of our video series and course, we're going to go through networking concepts. So, real simple overview, right? What is an IP address? An IP address is your logical address on the network, meaning that you can't actually touch it, you can't fill it, but it's your address. That's the address that the network is going to use to figure out, okay, this is where this email is supposed to go. This is where um, this information is supposed to go. So an IP address is your logical address on the network. And just remember every device, cell phone, uh, game console, refrigerator, washing machine, thermostat, anything that connects to the internet is going to have an IP address. It's your logical address on the network. Same thing with the MAC address. The logical address is your IP address. The physical address of the device is going to be your MAC address. IP address, logical address, physical address is your MAC address every device has a mac address every device has a mac address all right every device has a mac address so if the device can connect to the internet needs an ip address and it also needs a mac address the mac address is from the manufacturer the mac address is from the manufacturer all right just want to make sure you guys understand that so here's a couple of different devices um, that we're going to be talking about as far as networking goes and stuff like that a router so a router is what's going to get you on the internet so your router takes you from your local network onto a bigger network from your local network onto the internet and your router is going to use IP addresses to figure out where things go oh let me send this here let me send that there okay a switch is going to be used inside your network to connect multiple devices together so router is from network to network a switch is used inside of a network and a switch is going to use the physical address your MAC address to forward information to figure out where stuff goes okay uh, access point so we already talked about Wi-Fi stuff like that so if we have a router if we have a big area that we're trying to pretty much extend coverage to we can have our main router and then we can have access points that is connected to that router, right? So we can pretty much expand the coverage so we can make sure that we have a wide area of coverage, right? So we can have an access point downstairs, an access point upstairs, or we can have an access point in HR, have access point in finance, so on and so forth. So access point gives people access to the network and it can extend the coverage of a network a firewall simply put it can permit or deny certain traffic so so we talking about where the stuff go routers switches this stuff sends stuff here this thing sends stuff there a firewall can actually stop stuff like hey I don't want this to come in whether it's going from rules that you set up or it's rules that the organization set up it can permit or deny so a firewall just stops stuff or it allows stuff to come onto your network. All right, so um, network communication, we talked about local and we talked about the internet. So local area network is your local network. Your LAN is your local network. If you at home, that is your local network. If you at work, that is your local network. As soon as you leave that network, right, you go through the router, you go to another network, you are on a WAN. A WAN is a wide area network. The internet is a WAN. The internet is just a huge collection of interconnected LANs. All right, so it's connected LANs to each other, right? So a router is your gateway onto the internet. It's your gateway to the WAN. Um, DNS. So so we talking about the internet. DNS or domain name server, your domain name server, we'll get into ports a little bit later. The domain name server translates a website name into an IP address. Remember, everything has an IP address. Every website has an IP address because every website runs on a web server. All right, so every 
website runs on a physical device, a web server, but it needs a logical address, an IP address, to be able to send and receive information. And the DNS was created, came up with because instead of you having to remember a bunch of random numbers, you can just remember ESPN.com. You can just remember ITMaskey.com. You can just remember Google.com instead of the numbers that's related to that. Okay, if you don't know uh, about the numbers, the ones and zeros, binary, you need to go to the first video in this series and watch it 